products have integrity, balance long-term and short-term, and have respect for people. It also is aiming to do more healthy products to produce those which it terms human sustainability. It aims for environmental sustainability, talent sustainability through its employees, and again, it aims for profit. So what is the difference between these two strategies? They seem like mirror images of each other. The difference is basically that Pepsi is aimed for more diversification through its snacks, and Coca-Cola has really aimed to establish itself in international markets. Okay, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the marketing strategies of each company. Um, Pepsi-Cola was first trademarked on June 16, 1903, and in the 40s, the they specifically targeted African Americans in their advertising, and this is because the then president, Walter Mack, felt like African Americans were an unexploited niche market and that they would be able to gain a market share by targeting them specifically. Um, their advertisements, like the one pictured right there, it just portrayed them in a positive light, and one of the advertisements profiled 20 prominent African American leaders. Um, however, some of the company members felt that they were pushing away their white customers by targeting the African Americans, so when Mack, or Mack left, the company in the 1950s, this sales pitch was cut. Some of the major campaigns that Pepsi have done is the Pepsi Challenge, which was introduced in 1975, and this was a blind taste test between Pepsi and Coke, and the majority of participants chose Pepsi over the Coke product, and they then developed commercials that were publicizing these results, and that gave Pepsi a huge advantage over Coke. Uh, the Pepsi stuff was introduced in 1996, and consumers were able to earn points that could be used for purchasing Pepsi products, and these points are found on like labels, and if you bought like, I guess cartons, I don't know, boxes of Pepsi, it was found on the boxes. Um, Pepsi also 